Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another video on my channel and today we are going to be talking about my most anticipated games that are coming out either in this year 2016 or next year early 2017 and to start things off FIFA 17 is the first game I'm going to talk about FIFA 17 obviously I buy FIFA every year and before I didn't really like FIFA a few years ago I just didn't like it I didn't see the point in it um, buying it every year because to me when I didn't play it it just looked like it was just a game that continually was just repeated and didn't improve but this year it looks amazing and since I started playing FIFA as well I kind of like realized how much it does actually improve each year this besides all the crap that is in FIFA it does get better and especially this year FIFA 17 it looks amazing the new engine frostbite um, the new game mode which is the Alex Hunter one and then you've got the ultimate team of course which will probably be improved and hopefully EA add a lot more things as well as this the graphics again will just look amazing although in a FIFA game the graphics aren't everything I'm hoping the gameplay is going to be amazing as well but uh, hopefully the graphics do look good like I said and I'm sure they will be the next game I want to talk about is Call of Duty not Infinite Warfare I'm not looking forward to that I'm looking forward to Call of Duty 4 uh, Modern Warfare Remastered because I love Call of Duty 4 I love Call of Duty but I started hating Call of Duty when, uh, since the new movement system, really, um, the begin of the, for me, the decline of Call of Duty started with Modern Warfare 3. Uh, Black Ops 2 was okay. Um, I didn't like Modern Warfare 3, really, but Black Ops 2 was fine, but then Advanced Warfare was shocking, and Black Ops 3, it's okay, but I just like the original Call of Duties with the movement on the floor. No advanced movement as such, and I just like boots on the ground and Call of Duty 4 Remaster is going to offer this to me and all these users and it's a shame that you have to buy Infinite Warfare as well because it is a lot of money but I definitely will be picking this game up. It looks amazing seeing as it's being remastered and the graphics are going to look amazing and they kept everything the same of course only 10 multiplayer maps but they kept everything the same the three kill streaks the guns are going to be the same everything's going to be the same which is going to be amazing and the next game I want to talk about is Battlefield 1. Now Battlefield 1 is by far my most anticipated game for this year purely because of the fact it looks absolutely amazing and gorgeous and it just it just blows my mind how well EA or DICE have created this game and as well as this they've gone back to the roots of World War and that's kind of what people want and they've listened to the community and it's exactly what everyone wants and it's a shame Call of Duty aren't doing this as well but Battlefield are doing it and I'm definitely 100% sure buying this game no matter what and it also kind of shows that Battlefield take more interest and care towards their users and they actually listen to them and I feel like Battlefield will beat Call of Duty in sales this year purely because Infinite Warfare it's the, it's the advanced movement and again it could be good because the campaign is made by the people who made the Last of Us campaign and hopefully that transfers over into the multiplayer, but I'm not too sure. Like I said, FIFA 17, Call of Duty 4, Battlefield 1, my most three anticipated games for this year. For next year, I only really have one game at the moment, and I will make another one of these videos if you guys do want me to. But the next game, the fourth and final game really for next year 2017, is Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now, a lot of people have been saying this game is going to be overhyped, like most Ubisoft games. But I don't know really, it, it looks really really nice, it's an open, massive open world game, it's stealth as well, it's um, fast paced, you can do three like loads of different ways of approaching your attacks, and again, open world, I love open world games, and Ghost Recon Wildlands offers so much, hopefully the game's amazing, and hopefully all these all these um, and hopefully what everyone's been saying that the bad the game's bad at the moment hopefully it's good when the game finally comes out now that's basically it for today's video guys I've only given four of my most anticipated games but my most anticipated game by far is Battlefield 1 and then probably Call of Duty 4 remastered and then FIFA 17 and then obviously 2017 will be Ghost Recon I'm not too sure on others yet but like I said if you guys do want to see more videos like this talking about my most anticipated games let me know in the comments below and 
and I'll be sure to make an updated one as more games are released um, at Gamescom. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Check out all the links in the description below for cheap NSP, PSN codes, and H1Z1 codes over on G2A.com. And check out my website as well for the cheapest graphics. And I'll see you next video, guys. Have a good day and goodbye. So tonight we are losing, losing this fight or help our soul tonight is no one on our side who's gonna help our souls tonight.